Criticast! Hey, what's up? Welcome to this is the third episode of Criticast! <laughs> hey! The podcast Criticast. Where, we, where we talk about ourselves. Our stuff. Uh, wow, and, that's the worst podcast concept ever, isn't it? <laughs> I was watching the Super Mega Cast today, the most yeah. recent episode as to when they're airing, and they talk about how fucking stupid their podcast <laughs> is because they don't even have topics. Sure, they just start they talking just start to talking. each other. Well, and they always find a way to make it interesting, which I I envy because <laughs> I can't do that. And no, I've heard. Uh, like, if you listen back to the two podcasts we've done, we talk yeah, yeah, yeah. about random shit for, like, half of it. But we always have a topic that we fall back on. Ah, uh, that's like the true. First one, the yeah, first yeah, one yeah. is, like, the ten minutes of just, like, catching up. How was your week? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then the, like, final 50 minutes, we're talking about, like, oh, yeah, I sucked my first cock last Sonic. week. And, that's and here's, never. <laughs> here's the story, you know? Ah, uh, that's not ha- – that hasn't happened yet. 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 Yeah. It'll happen. We'll let you guys know. <laughs> yeah, when Jacob and I suck each other's dicks, we'll let you guys know. <laughs> oh, great. That's the first one of those for the recording sesh. Mm-hmm. We also use the podcast as, uh, as, warm as our warm-up because we used to do uh, – We used to go in dry. Yeah. And <laughs> we used it to was get all cut not up. good. <laughs> I mean, I wish I wish that the, the first Sonic episodes we did hadn't gotten corrupted yeah. because you guys have heard the, the first Sonic episodes. They're rough audio-wise, but the – the first first ones we did before we re-recorded them were even more rough. They were terrible. They were terrible. They were so bad. Now, I mean, not just audio wise, but like content wise. Like, yeah, they, they we weren't sound that funny. Like shit, and we talk about nothing. We talk order. about a lot. We we do a lot of the Jacob put this in and like comment and subscribe jokes and you know <laughs> yeah, like just- like children. Like children starting a Let's Play channel, which is what we are. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I want to give a big shout out to the guy. I don't remember your username, and I'm very sorry. The guy <laughs> who, in the comments of the first, the first ca- uh, Criticast uh, podcast episode on YouTube, mm-hmm. he left a nice long comment explaining why he likes Sonic. Oh Boots. yeah, I left a big long comment back. He yeah. left a big long comment back. I'll never respond again. I just want to <laughs> let you know. Uh, I do really appreciate. You I do too. Your opinion. That's that's awesome. That's really cool. Like yeah, we should we should find a way. We can't do it yet because we don't have enough subscribers. Yeah. But if we ever do to like where we get that that chat thing that mm-hmm. YouTube has, I would love to talk to people about game design ideas and shit. Yeah, totally. Because that I really like talking about mm-hmm. it. And and far from we're, we're harsh with our opinions, but we like to talk about this shit. Mm-hmm. We're not, <laughs> we're not assholes. We're exactly, like, no, we're yeah. right. You're wrong. Like I, I like discussing it. And that's so. the thing about this format is that when we're in, when we're in game, we can't really talk we about can't. game design as thoroughly. Yeah. Except in Alice, we do a good bit. Actually, we talk about the we design of it a do. lot. Have you watched the second to last episode? Is, yes, like yes, the, that we've uh, recorded. Yeah, yeah the one, the one where, uh, where I call you an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> or something. We get really salty with each other. Yeah, we get really mad at each other and, legitimately. And, and part of it is because we're, like, the game is going on and we haven't had time to, like, we're, we're trying to analyze it critically. Yeah. And yet we, we're just doing it off the top of our heads. Yeah. So <laughs> I like these, these podcasts a lot more to talk about. The, the in-depth why we like shit. I absolutely agree. Because <laughs> uh, it's harder to be uh, fair and, and mm-hmm. you know, intellectual when, when we're in the game. And it sucks because I was hoping that I was going to be able to see the Emoji movie this week. Oh, yeah. Because uh, uh, as of recording, it came out one day ago. I had plans to see it <laughs> uh, Thursday at midnight. Sure. Uh, it fell apart. I'm seeing it tomorrow uh, at, at around like seven. So I can't do it on this podcast. And uh, a little behind the scenes information: we're probably going to record two podcasts in one yeah. day because we got We got to backlog some shit. Yeah. So um, you're not going to be able to hear my thoughts on the emoji <laughs> movie for a, for a good, good long while. while. Which yeah. sucks because I'm very. I'm very adamant. If you go on my Facebook, you, you'll see my profile picture is me really excited next you to an emoji see the movie emoji poster. Movie. Yeah. It's got a st- Five, six percent on Rotten Tomatoes. No. I haven't checked it. Oh god, it's got really low <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes. Low. The critic consensus, which yeah. is like like the aggregate, what what are what are critics what saying? The critics say. The critic consensus on Rotten Tomatoes is literally the emoji that's like stop. <laughs> <laughs> which is oh man, really funny. I love that. That's awesome. That's it's a bit. It's a really funny <laughs> joke. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, really excited to see the emoji movie. I love shit content. <sighs> yeah. Uh, the the teaser trailer for um. For the Disaster Artist came out this week. Did you see that? No, I didn't. Uh, if, if you guys don't know what the Disaster Artist is, it's a a, a film based on the creation of what mo- most 
film fans consider the worst film of all time, The Room, mm -hmm. uh, starring Tommy Wiseau. And if you don't know what that is, look up The Room look funny the moments. Room. on. Uh, I had a lot of fun drinking and watching The Room. Oh, that sounds <laughs> great. That, that sounds actually really awesome. It was awesome. really funny. Oh, God. And so uh, it, it stars James Franco as Tommy Wiseau. And mm -hmm. uh, what's James Franco? David Dave Franco's. Oh, okay. uh, Dave Franco as Greg Sestro, who played Mark. Uh, and the teaser trailer is just them making the oh hi Mark scene, <laughs> and it's oh re hi Mark, it's really good. <laughs> I'm I'm very excited for that. So so what's oh, up with man. you? What, how's your week been? Any do anything interesting? Uh, edit? I, yeah, I did edit, <laughs> but I've gotten to the point like, I I have I've had to do like editing blitzes before, mm -hmm. and now I'm at the point where I just I wait I do it in the morning. So like I wake up and this morning I got three episodes done in like a couple hours. Nice, nice, nice. And then like that's what I do in the mornings instead of like read the paper like I used to. Uh, and then it's like <laughs> ruining your life. No, 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 no. Because no. I actually like editing. Like I I have a schedule. I have to do two episodes a day. Mm -hmm. But today I just did three because it's like whatever. I I could. It's fun. So yeah, yeah. And then I've been I played FTL for a long time because I love that game. So I had a and that's I had a very eventful week. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to any cops listening, I didn't smoke weed for the first <laughs> time this week. Uh, for everyone else, you know what happened. <laughs> um, yeah, you sent me that picture, and I was confused. I sent you what picture? A Snapchat. Oh fuck! I yeah. Sent you a picture? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, and I you're wasn't like... high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, it I... said, "This is not my first time not doing weed." <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how I talk when I do things that aren't illegal. Yeah. Like, uh... <laughs> you constantly update me on the status of your legal <laughs> <laughs> happenstances. <laughs> uh, yeah, my friend hadn't. Uh, my friend had been try uh, really trying to. Uh, He's to, been pushing to me to do it for a while. Not pushing me. Yeah, like, yeah. He's wanted me to do it with him for a while. So I just, you know, I just gave it a shot. Yeah. It's really fun. McDonald's it, was great. It, it <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> it might be legal in Illinois soon. Yeah, no, it's, it's legal in Illinois, like, like in a couple months, I think. Yeah. Like, be, confirmed. For budgetary reasons. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's going to be great for the Illinois economy. Yes, because, mm -hmm. well, let's not get into politics. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Illinois economy is not doing so hot no, right now. No, fucking Illinois, man. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that, that's, that's, a, that is interesting. That's yeah. an interesting thing I, to try. I, it was, it was fun. Uh, it really did not feel like I thought it would at all. Yeah. Uh, I was just kind of me and I remembered most things afterwards. Right. Right. It was just kind of like me, but silly and forgetful. Yeah. A, a little bit more creative. Yeah. yeah. It was, it I mean, fun. yeah, we, we, we grew up like, like we were born like during the really hard on drug crime yeah era. yeah yeah the, so the, like <laughs> the war against drugs was yeah drugs. it was like like the 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 tail end of that because that started with nixon and then by like it it really ended towards the end of clinton like yes. the the real tail end of that mm -hmm. and now we're just sort of starting to be like you know what drugs are really just like temporary stupid makers yeah <laughs> and, and even then um, the medical uses of marijuana are yeah. incredible. Yeah. It's, it's fantastic. Well, from the little research we, we've been able to do, because it's been illegal uh -huh. to like, we, we can't do the extensive shit that we yeah. need to. And but anyway, <laughs> it's fun. Uh, I was, I was with close friends who I trust a lot. Good. Uh, Good. I feel closer to them after this. Good. Uh, it, was, it was just, yeah. a, it was just a nice wholesome time. Well, yeah, that's why I want to like for, I don't think I've said this on the show, but I have a list of my friends who I haven't gotten drunk with and I want to, and that's that's the reason why I want to, because it's like you you get closer when you kind of let yourself go like that, mm -hmm. uh, and and let yourself be just a random person. Yeah, I, I've drank once, uh, yeah. really hard. <laughs> yeah, uh, and that was to research for a role for yeah. a movie I was in. Uh, and by that I mean I didn't do that. Uh, I've never <laughs> drank in my life. Right. Uh, and that was all just a joke. And uh, no cops could prove otherwise <laughs> if they listen to this podcast. It's all art. That's, yeah. Uh, we could be lying. Yeah, exactly. I'm just lying <laughs> on the internet. Who, who would, who would lie? lie? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I was with Jacob. It was very, yeah. it sucked. Being drunk is horrible. Not, what? I hated it. What are you talking it. about? No, I hated it. No, you all didn't say All I talked say about the whole it. time was how much I hated it. You didn't say that. I hated it. I don't remember you saying annoying. that at all. You you said that there were parts of it that you didn't like, but you you overall, I think we had a good time. Uh, d mm. <laughs> See, now that I've become a new man and not smoked weed, wing, yeah, uh, it's, it's not. Some people prefer it. 
Uh-huh. Uh, I definitely don't. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Just because it doesn't affect me. Well, you only tried it once, right? No, I've tried it multiple times, but really? I've never gotten high. Like, I've never, I've never experienced the thing that people talk about. Like, I've felt like, oh, I guess I'm high, but I've never <laughs> been like, this is awesome, man. Let's do this 24-7. I've been like, <laughs> I would rather be drunk right now. <laughs> and so I don't think I've been high. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, drugs just, are weird. You just got to do what I quote unquote didn't do <laughs> and <laughs> accidentally take way too much. Uh, yeah, maybe you, that. You, you think that it's not affecting you. I'm also a big boy, so it's it's possible yeah, I, yeah. That, I'm very <laughs> that I underdosed. OK, well, let's get off that conversation. Yeah, uh, because oh, do I feel unsafe? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, whatever. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Everything we said for the past half hour is a lie. It was 12 minutes. 12 minutes. <laughs> Everything we said before we started recording was a lie, too. <laughs> so let's yeah. get back into the questions. If you didn't yeah. listen to last week's podcast for whatever reason, mm-hmm. if this is your first mm-hmm. podcast, uh, go ahead and listen to last week's podcast. It was a fun one. We, we, yeah, did, we started doing fun. a thing where, where it was a 40 questions to ask on the first date. Right. Uh, so we got halfway through the list, and we're, we're going to round off that list today. Mm-hmm. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get into it. Yeah. So question number 21. Sure. Are you as tired of Kimye as I am? That's legitimately on the list. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> right? Is that like a celebrity like relationship name? Yeah, it's uh, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. I don't care about celebrities. D- d- I mean, they're honestly... They could shit blood, and I would not care. They do nothing wrong. They're just kind of like a happily I don't, married couple. No, yeah, it, it goes both ways. I, I don't hate them. I just don't care. If you're tired of Kimye, quote-unquote, <laughs> then fucking then just get off stop. Facebook for yeah. a minute and hang out with your friends. Right. Loser. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. If you're invested in celebrity, If you're whatever. invested in celebrity, I mean, power to you. I'm invested in imaginary people, so I don't, I don't <laughs> care. But, you know, I, just... I don't live and die whether, you know, Spider-Man is married to Mary Jane. <laughs> I do. <laughs> so, uh, question number 22. Okay. Do your parents still live in the same house you grew up in? Uh, yes. Also, what is the address of your house? <laughs> no to that. But, yes, uh, yeah, they, they do. Um, you also sort of, live there. We, we, yeah, we moved a lot when I was a kid, mm-hmm. um, and I hated it, and uh, I, we... We live in a house that's not my, my parents. Well, that's not a conver, that's not a conversation I should have on the show. <laughs> so, <laughs> Jesus. yeah, no, go ahead. Uh, yeah, do you? Still, uh, or yeah, parents? my parents. My parents live in the same house uh, uh, I grew up in. Okay. Of uh, I, I J- Jacob and I both live at home. Yeah. Uh, yeah I yeah. like like our parents' homes. I mean. Yeah, because we're I, I millennials. Was to move out. Well, no, I was planning on moving out. Yeah, Things fell yeah. apart. Uh, it was a big issue. I'm going to be going and living on dorms next uh, semester of my college. Are you? Yes. Okay, yeah, that's cool. determined. Cool. So uh, I'll be fine. Uh, yeah. and I'll finally be out of my house. Uh, <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm 20 years oh, old. Yeah. Uh, you know how it is. Yeah. Uh, and if you do live with your if, parents, I mean, I know plenty of people that live with their parents that are in, like, their mid-20s. Yeah, I'll probably yeah, yeah. move back in with my parents once I'm, like, finished with college. Uh, right, yeah, a lot of people like, do. You got to well, get a job, you got to get started up, and yeah, then you move out. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the kind of Especially the economy the that we have economy. now. Especially economy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a big thing. I mean, I'm, there's, big I'm sure year. there's plenty of places, probably more down south, where you could go to college and then uh, work like 40 hours a week at like a Walmart or something and then move into one, one person apartment. Yeah. That's not how things work in it's, Illinois. It's not. You gotta live with your parents. That's kind of how things work. <laughs> yeah. It sucks. Yeah, it does. It really sucks. Yeah. So uh, what's my, what's on your bucket list? <sighs> my that's bucket a, that's list? That's a big question. This yeah, is, that is a big is question. I, I have uh, a few things. Uh, one is to produce a, a, produce a, an indie game or a main selling game that's my own. Like, I, if I work on other game projects and stuff, fine, great. That's what I want to do. But I want to produce at least one game that is completely 100% mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, I want to meet Dan Avedan. That's on my oh, nice, list, too. Nice. Yeah. Me, too. Yeah. I want to meet Aaron. Yeah, I, yeah same. I, I want to meet both of them, but I think but, I, I think I want to meet Aaron more. Really? Yeah, because I love – I mean, I, I, I love Dan. Yeah. Uh, and we're talking about the Game Grumps, if you're yes, aware. Yes, the... the um, I, but Aaron has been such a big driving force in, that's in true. who I am as a yeah. person. He's he's one of the... 
he's like one of the four people who shaped how I think about game design. Mm-hmm. And and that's I mean I want to meet him too, and I want to meet everyone who influenced that. So yeah, of course, Mark Rosewater, uh, Edmund McMillan, um, and uh, Junichi Masuda, but that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> uh, who are all three of those people? Mark Rosewater is the lead designer and has been for a while of Magic: The Gathering. Oh, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> Edmund McMillan was on Newgrounds for a long time. He produced a lot of um, indie content that was really inspiring and and made me see games as art. Give an example. Um, uh, he, he did time fuck. He oh, did, that game. Okay. Yeah. He did. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's like you sling from planet to planet on oh, like a weird uh, Aether. Yeah. Aether. He did that. He did meat boy. He did. Oh, did he make meat boy? Yeah. He did B- binding of Isaac. Shit, baby. <laughs> he's, yeah. He's done a lot of really Mexico. good shit. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I definitely want to meet him someday. He, he's got a great mind for game design and, um, I left someone off that list. Uh, uh, Junji Masuda? Is that what you said? Uh, yeah, he, he was the head designer. He he reshaped Pokemon into what it is today. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, and then, actually, Total Biscuit. I would love to meet him. Yeah, really? Yeah, he he's he's fantastic at looking at... Like, I he, I started watching him, like, for Warcraft stuff, like mm-hmm. World of Warcraft stuff. But since then, his analysis of what game design should be in relationship to what the consumer pays for it and treating it like a, a product has really kind of changed what I think about it. Okay. Yeah. I can so, get behind that. Yeah. I definitely want to try and meet all those people. Interesting. Yeah. I want to see Mount Rushmore. I think, oh, cool. have I talked to you about this on, on the show or otherwise? I don't I think so. I want to see Mount Rushmore, but I don't want to like spend a whole day there, you know? <laughs> I just want to drive past Mount Rushmore, see it. <laughs> And then, and then leave. Yeah, like I don't, like I don't want to spend all day taking pictures of it. I don't want to fucking jerk <laughs> off to Mount Rushmore all day looking I would, at it. It's like it's so beautiful. I would love if you like you went to like whatever town is like near there, and then you like jogged up to it, touched like like a side like a railing, and then just jogged away from it. That's probably <laughs> what I would do. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not the sort that stays around and takes pictures of everything. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just like it's oh look, the president head statues. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think they're a beautiful piece of art. I guess I want to make first contact with Alien Life. Uh, I want to meet <laughs> okay. Aaron. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just, I was just trying. Oh man, I really wanted to just think of a bunch of random shit <laughs> so I could just bury what I said. Uh, no, nah, whatever. I don't give a fuck about aliens. Really? No, I, I mean I want to meet an alien or yeah. whatever. I want I want That'd aliens cool. to be like proven to exist, not exist, but like obviously they exist. I want I want to like not alien- obviously. There's something called the Fermi paradox. Oh. Yeah, it's like the, the the odds are so astronomical that we haven't had any contact with any alien life so far that. It's like, but but we should have already because of how many star systems there are, how much time has passed over the universe. So, like, where are all the fucking aliens? And there's, like, a couple of theories about why or why not. God, what a self-centered fucking theory. <laughs> no, go watch um, Kurzgesagt's video on it. It's fascinating. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I want to, uh, let's see. Uh, if you gave me, if I had this question, uh, say if my friend was speaking for several minutes and I had time to think, <laughs> then I would probably be able to think of an answer. Okay. More likely, I was just distracted. Just distracted. <laughs> uh, I want to meet uh, plenty of people. I want to. I want to talk to uh, James Rolfe, the angry video game nerd. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. I want. Oh, I just want to tell him how big of an influence he's had on my life. Same with yeah. Aaron. Oh, actually, I want to meet. Well. I don't. I don't care as much as uh, if I meet him, but I want to be him. Uh, Jeff Ramsey from from Achievement Hunter. Okay, he's the person I aspire to be. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's good, fucking good awesome, man. Good boy, good dad. Yeah, uh, I'd like to. Uh, eventually, my number one goal in life is to uh, build a virtual Sonic world and never come out. Uh, yeah, just like everyone else. Yeah, yeah. Next question. <laughs> Uh, are you a morning person or a night person? Um, I'm actually really a morning person. Same here. I, I stay up late, but I don't do as good of work uh, when I stay up late. I, I usually, the the best ideas I have come to me like when I'm just waking up and then I get up and I start work and then, then it's just downhill from there. I go to so. bed at like 11. Yeah. <laughs> like really? Real early. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then I, I wake up at 8 every day. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm up at 8.30 nowadays. Just, I just feel like I can get more shit done, you know? Yeah. 
I mean, you wake up at like at eleven. It feels like half the day is already exactly. fucking gone. Yeah. Like I, I, my friend Snapchatted me the other day, and she was just like, "Just woke up." And uh, <laughs> she's, she lives in Vermont. Yeah. She, it was fucking three o'clock in Vermont. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. How do you do that? Right. And and I mean. Yeah, I guess you stay up later, but even so, like clearly, clearly, I, I don't understand what it's like to be a night person. <laughs> so I can't. I, I have no room to judge anyone. I mean, I, I don't understand. Yeah, it, you know? I've been on that schedule, but I get a lot less done when I am at like on, on a late schedule. Yeah, same here. So, Do yeah, definitely cook? morning, all the time. Mm. Uh, I'm really good at cooking, actually. Good. Yeah. Good. I I, I want to learn. Uh, it's one of those fundamental skills that I, I feel like I've been robbed of in my life. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I, I really want to learn how to cook. Yeah, I, I think it's essential for every like every person to try at least. Exactly. I, I want to take a, I want to take a class. I oh, think yeah? that'd be fun. That would be fun. Yeah, but I just I, I never did. <laughs> yeah. Do you like your job? What do you want to do next? Let's not talk about whether Let's, or not we <laughs> like your jobs. Yeah. Uh, on the internet. We're, we're what do you want to do next? Um. What do I want to do next? Is it next? game design, Jacob? <laughs> yeah. I've been pretty clear about that. <laughs> mm, I wonder what my goal is. Don't yeah. say it. Yeah. If you don't know what my goal is, you're not a true Criticast fan. Yeah. Because... Study up. If you don't know, we're trying to get Robert to get a tattoo. That would ruin <laughs> his future plans. I would that's, love... That's the whole point of this channel. A, what was, it? was it a million subscribers? It was a million. A million a subscribers. Million Brian subscribers. Griffin tattoo across my chest. Guarantee you all chicken out. <laughs> I'll make him do it. Hold me down to a table and yeah. do it. And when I say rip Brian Griffin tattoo, I don't mean a rip Brian Griffin tattoo. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what? I mean like... Rip Brian Griffin, but it's Brian Griffin, but he's drawn in the style of a minion. The text above Rip Brian Griffin, the, 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 the text that says Rip Brian Griffin, yeah, uh, is in the Big Bang Theory logo font. Oh, nice. And there's an eye funny logo right right around my navel. Cool. Uh, I think the picture should be a, a gravestone that says Rip Brian Griffin, but then it has a ripped Brian Griffin. So that I it like works that. on two levels. Also, the gravestone has a six-pack. Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Cool. Well, uh, once we hit a million subscribers, we'll take a, we'll take a, a viewer. Oh, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll get uh, sketches from people. Exactly, and... <laughs> exactly. Once we hit a million subscribers. Once we hit a million once subscribers. Once we inevitably do that. Yeah, we're guaranteed. What's your social life like? Do you have a big group of friends next? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I like Not to have really. a, a, a small... <laughs> we're we're watching my wallpaper scroll. <laughs> In case you're new to the show, I'm, Jacob has about uh, he lost. Well, I lost, lost a lot of them, them, but he's got how many? How many uh, wallpapers? Now I have over a thousand. Oh, he has over oh, fucking. That was quick. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he has over a thousand wallpapers that scroll through his computer, and, and I've, I've been episodes. watching them try and break Robert because like some of them are are just nudity. One came up, and it was uh, a Wonder Woman panel. That used to have her mouth open, but now it had a ball gag in her mouth. And, <laughs> and, that's, and that's, that's the one that broke Robert. I lost my concentration <laughs> entirely. Uh, there was one uh, where it was Diva from Overwatch spread very naked over oh, the top yeah. of the mech. Yeah. And I, I couldn't keep track of what I was saying for like I've forever. Got, <laughs> I've, I've decided to do more explicit ones because I used to try and keep them less. <laughs> so you just to fuck with me? A little bit, <laughs> but also because I like him. Yeah. God, I fucking hate you. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, oh, as I was saying, I like to keep a small group of very close friends. I know a lot of friends that have, like, huge-ass friend groups. Yeah. It never really seems to work out. Yeah. Um, they always seem unhappier for it. I uh, guess. There, there's also times, though, like, because uh, I had a, a big group of friends in, in when I went to DePaul. Yeah. And I, you know, I sometimes try and contact them and you know I, I have good memories with them and we're on friendly terms and everything yeah of course, of course. so like I, I mean, like talking we had talking. a big group of friends when we when we went to our community college yeah except we're still mostly friends with well, all we're of still them. mostly friends but some of that didn't end so well because we, we hung out too much I think yes no I agree but yeah. whatever <laughs> enough about <Yeah>. our social <laughs> lives yeah um do you consider yourself career driven I do uh do you yeah. Uh, that makes sense for you. Uh, I, I'm not so much. I, I like, I'm type B. I like individual projects mm -hmm. that I can control more. It's, it's less about the job for me and more about just whatever I'm, I'm into. Of course. It means that I have a lot of really random skill sets. Mm -hmm. and, and you have <laughs> but, a fallback plan if things don't work out. You, you I guess. always just come work, you know, you, 
you you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Uh, I don't have that. Yeah. Uh, I don't have shit. Yeah. So if if uh, my career plans don't work out, I'm pretty much fucked. So <laughs> I don't know about that. That'd be fun. No. I'll, I'll work at a factory or suck. Criticate can be your fallback. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you oh go. my god! Yeah. Yeah. Oh fuck! Sixty-three subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> at the point of this video at the point of our recording which is still less than a month which yeah, is actually I, really I, I'm that's really good for, yeah. our, our, our i'm happy it has been very steady it has been I, I, i'm for the past so week we've had an we've had over an average of one person a day yeah so i incredible f- yeah i'm Don't fucking floored yeah <laughs> where, the, where do you guys find the show what? <laughs> is it because we message you on twitter and then why, you just don't check it for like why a do week? you guys like us <laughs> Very confusing. Appreciated nonetheless. Yes, I'm in love with all of you, <coughs> but geez. <coughs> Sorry, that was unrelated. <laughs> uh, what are you most passionate about, pussy? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I don't, I don't know what I'm most passionate about. That's hard. Uh, I, I change whatever my passion is from like month to month. Have you ever seen that Barack Obama video? Where it's like he's young and he's doing like one of those like story time things where it's like like you know when politicians get a chance to like break out and be a little loose with their humor and stuff. Oh, I guess. Uh, yeah. So he he has one of those when he's like a very young politician. Like, okay. This is about fifteen years ago. Sure. Uh, and he's like, you know, can't live without ribs. And pussy too. <laughs> and he talks about eating pussy for a while. Nice. It made me really really uncomfortable. <laughs> Whatever. I love hearing Obama say weird shit. I remember when yeah. news broke that Obama said the N word on Mark Maron's podcast. I listened to the right. whole fucking podcast just to hear Obama <laughs> say the N word one time because I thought it would sound funny. I don't. I heard it. I don't think it sounded that. It funny. didn't sound it's, funny. It's, it, 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 yeah. it was just normal conversation. Yeah. It's just the fact that. It's Obama has such a unique, funny voice. He does. He's got a unique way of speaking. Mm-hmm. So it's fun to, to So it's fun imitate. to just hear him say funny little swear words. It's fun. To, yeah. I mean, people have made entire YouTube channels based off the concept of Obama saying shit on yeah. video games. <laughs> Pussy too. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> uh, the thing I'm most passionate about. Uh, Do you not Watching the game, drinking a bud. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, sure. Uh, I have zero passions in life. Yeah. Uh, just kidding. I, I really want to get into at least some kind of an entertainment career. Yeah. Uh, I've had I've had an idea stewing in my head recently for, for something I want to put on this channel that's oh, yeah? not a Let's Play. Oh, okay. And it has nothing to do with video games. Oh, okay. I'll discuss that with you later. Sure, but, sure. Uh, it's been it's been rattling around. Okay. Uh, you're you're gonna understand. It's gonna make sense when I tell you. All right. Um. So that's a little tease. So maybe you're ready <laughs> to see too, that. For me too, because I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you're ready to see that. Maybe I'll just forget. Maybe yeah. I'll just not do that. Yeah, maybe. Because it's going to require a fuckload of research. Oh, really? That I've already done. Oh, okay. But I, I would have to relook into a lot of things. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll see. When's your birthday? Uh, December 18th, 1992. Hmm. Yeah. August 6th, 1997. Yeah. So. <laughs> so that's our age that's, difference. That's, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, dude. Oh, that means you're like, you were you were coming into video game age. No wait, you weren't because you didn't play video games when you were a kid. I wasn't allowed to. So yeah, well, uh, so my first system was actually a Nintendo Entertainment System. When most nope. kids had like this, the N sixty four. I I had the the NES, and then I went to the Genesis, and then I skipped like, I skipped like a lot of the early, the shitty like I, I skipped a lot of the SNES era, a lot of the. Um, N64 games, and I, I moved straight on to GameCube and then tried to catch up. <laughs> yeah, I got that. <laughs> yeah. I I don't have the same experience. I grew up with an original Xbox, which is akin to nice. growing up with only Halo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> kind of, yeah. I mean, I played a bunch of shit on there, but yeah. what I was really into when I was a kid was I played a lot of the um, – I played a lot of – there was like a Midway Arcade Classics thing, and then I played okay. like a bunch of classic game bundles. Yeah, like arcade yeah. Arcade shit. That's what I was really into. I really liked arcade games. Yeah. Like a ton when I was a kid. I still do. I, <laughs> My parents would always buy me those games because I wasn't allowed to play. I also wasn't allowed to play games uh, that were rated teen until I was a teenager or mature until I was exactly 17. Okay. So That makes sense. So I, I had a friend that was just like that. Yeah, yeah. And so, I don't. I don't necessarily agree with that, but I don't I get know. Why. But yeah, 
I, I get the logic behind it. I, I guess so, but to me, those ratings, kind of like movie ratings, they're they're recommendations. I mean, you yeah, know, loose guidelines. Yeah, if you're a parent, you know your kid better than than whatever rating system they come up with. So it's just kind of like, hey, look out! This thing has this. Yeah, and if if you put too many restrictions on your kid, they might end up with a Wonder Woman ball gag background. So <laughs> Jesus. Any I like parents that. listening? <laughs> <laughs> I like that wallpaper. <laughs> it's funny. It's nice. <laughs> it's not nice. <laughs> I think it's nice. Well, because have you heard the the guy who created Wonder Woman? It was the guy who invented the lie detector. Yeah. And he Charles was also Moon. he was also super into bondage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is why Wonder Woman has a lasso. So like I like it. I think it's nice for that reason because it's like you know this is where Wonder Woman comes from. Yeah. Exactly. Sadomasochist. Amazon. <laughs> but it also comes from a place where if you read a lot of classic Wonder Woman, you know that he was a very strong feminist. Yes, he was. And, he, and was it, he was. It's unfair too. to a lot to, no, say, no, no. to say he's just the, the fucking <laughs> I'm not pervert. saying he's just that. I, I, I know that you aren't. Yeah. But I know he uh, gets this, uh, this rap a lot he of does. people thinking that he's just this pervy he's, asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is not he, he fair. Was, he, he wasn't. He was way ahead of his time, a brilliant writer. But Yes, but he also was into getting tied up, which is... You know what? I, I kind of want to know the, the fetishes of every famous person. <laughs> Me too, dude. It would be nice. Uh, I really want I, to... I, I, saw, I saw a thread um, yesterday on Reddit. Yeah? It was like, uh, people who have seen celebrities naked, what's your story? <laughs> <laughs> apparently, apparently uh, according to this, this thread, which I don't know if this is 100% true, Yeah. Uh, it was... Marissa Tomei goes around to people uh, in bars if, if she acquaints them. Yeah. And if she t- they talk about uh, seeing her boobs in movies, she just flashes them. Oh. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's got nothing to lose. It's recorded. People have seen them exactly, before. Exactly, yeah. There's none of them like, yeah. I mean, all good honor. Yeah, yeah. She made a career. <laughs> Uh-oh. What? Jacob, we've encountered an issue. Oh, no. The issue that I have encountered is that the a lot of these questions are sex. No, they're not oh, sexual. Okay. We would ask those questions. That's on true. The show. They are starting to be specific to the data aspect, such as, can I split the check with you? Jacob, can I split oh. the check with you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, ask them in earnest. Okay, sure. Yeah. Can I split the check with you? I don't understand the question. It doesn't make sense in this context. Okay. Can I at least leave the tip? Doesn't, <laughs> doesn't really work here. How's work looking for you this week? Uh, chaotic for reasons that I actually have to talk to you off, off. (laughs) Uh, so yeah, chaotic. Uh, and I, uh, I'm between jobs. I have my last day at my other job right now and I'm looking for a job near my school. So I didn't know that. Yep. Okay. Wow. Uh, did you like this place? Referring to the place where we (laughs) ate at this date. Yeah. Which uh, do you like this place? I mean, I like this place. Yeah. Uh, not a big fan of the seating. I, I, I'm meaning to bring a pillow. Yeah. Uh, It's very uncomfortable, but I like the setup. I do like the setup. It's nice. Uh, Like our monitor, uh, our our projector can can get a little bit hot sometimes. I'm sweating a little bit and I'm not a very, I don't sweat all that much. We got the air on. It's summer too. Oh yeah. too. part of it, but do you have any fun plans for the rest of the weekend? It's, it's, it's Saturday, Saturday so, so, it is, so yeah, it is you a have, weekend. You have fun Sunday plans. I'm seeing the Emoji Movie. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I, I'm doing. Um, I do role playing every Sunday if I if I'm not working. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, I'll be doing that tomorrow. And I'm going to be joining that once you guys start playing motherfucking start. Starfinder. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about fantasy. <laughs> you you say fantasy, but Pathfinder kind of. Especially when when our friend Alino, uh, Alino runs friend of games, the show. <laughs> when he runs games, there's always kind of a mix of like fantasy tech, like a little bit. Of course, of course. And so it, it doesn't feel it's as hard to fantasy with, with, yeah. with fucking elves and orcs and shit. Like, I have like this I weird guess. thing against elves. I just don't like really. Them. I just think they're annoying. No, I like elves. I, I don't. Man. I don't know. I honestly don't know why. <laughs> it it, it kind of weirds me out. Okay, whatever. But I just I just fucking hate them. Sure. So I'm like, ugh, it's got fucking elves in it. Yeah, I guess. If it's just dwarves and shit, I'm like, I'm not a clown. Dwarves are are fun. What do you think of Warhammer uh, 40K? I never played it. Okay. I've only played, like, a couple of games, but the lore is fascinating. It's like, it takes that concept of futuristic fantasy world, and it fucking runs with it. (laughs) Nice, nice. (laughs) Farther than any other place, or any other, like, series. Okay. I, 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 I... 
don't. I'm very hard at getting into lore. Like I've been playing yeah, Zelda yeah. Breath of the Wild recently, yeah. and I could not be fucked with the lore. <laughs> I don't give a shit about anything that's happening. Uh, it's it's okay. It's, it's not terrible. It's it, it's good. It's honestly yeah. good. I just don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I yeah. get that. Uh, I'm I'm enjoying the game a lot actually. It's so, a lot of fun. Um, I'm very excited for Mario Odyssey. If it's if it's anything like how this game turned out. Uh, yeah, but in a Mario setting, which is Nintendo's a lot of been people crushing are, it. A lot of people are very are a lot interested in Zelda. That the yeah. same enthusiasm that most people put towards, put towards Zelda, I put towards Mario. Right. Uh, so I'm I'm very excited uh, for Mario Odyssey. I'm gonna yeah. devote all my time to that when that comes out. <laughs> um, are there any more questions? Yo, are, we, yeah, are we done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. There's there's gonna be a few more questions. Okay, sure. Uh. Do you have a busy week coming up? That's the same question. That's the same as, as work. I mean, How I are guess. You getting home. <laughs> uh, with my car, it's not. Here, dude. It's not going to be for a while. <laughs> yeah. We we have like five hour recording sessions. So. Yeah. <laughs> There's this cool bar I know around here. <laughs> Want to go grab a drink? That's. That's a dumb question. It is a dumb question. Yeah. I can't drink. That's why it's you dumb. You can't drink. Can't it's also drink. dumb because what if you don't know a bar around there? Like, what if like you're on their phone and like, I know a bar around here. Well, I don't think that people just have their phone open and read this article when they're on a first date. That's uh, weird. Why not? That's when you did. That's how this came about. Uh, I that was on like my fucking a date with a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Date. Like, it, yeah, it no, I, I know. But you never know. Someone might might be like, "Hey, I found this fun list of questions to ask on a first date." All right, Wanna next try question. Him? Okay. <laughs> Want to get coffee slash dessert after this somewhere? No. That's that's very forward. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be very late. No, it, it I, will I be work really in the morning, late. So. Yeah. Uh, my friend's actually having a party a few blocks away. Do you want to stop by? That that's specific. just a lie. That's just really specific. <laughs> okay. And ooh, I like this one. Yeah. What are we doing after this? Those are those four questions are just about the same question. What are we doing after this? <laughs> We're going home to our, our respective homes and and <laughs> probably going to sleep in our separate beds. What if we had a joint quantum nope. bed? <laughs> no. <laughs> that what the fuck would a quantum bed be? Uh, despite where it exists in space and time, when I turn over, you're always sitting on the other side of the bed, <laughs> hogging the fucking blanket. No, I like to think that uh, our our beds are quantum entangled, so that when when you make a divot on on your bed, it happens to me too, <laughs> yeah. and then and then vice versa. Like we don't interact at all, but our beds are exactly the same. Whenever I jerk off in bed, I always come on Jacob's sheets. Ugh. That's the quantum side of it. Ugh. Uh, my, my friend Jacob, a uh, friend of the show Jacob, that isn't this Jacob? Other Jacob. Other Jacob. Yeah. He, uh, uh, he, he explained something to me the other day that, <laughs> that I fucking love. Yeah. Uh, he, he discussed with me the quantum death of Pepe. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Uh, no, it was the quantum super death of Pepe. Oh, okay. Meaning... Pepe has died, yeah. the meme itself, has died about five or six times. Yeah. But every single time he dies, he comes back somewhere else. Yeah. And then he dies there, and then he pops up somewhere else. That's it's true. It's crazy. He's it, never yeah. ending. <laughs> I guess. I don't want to think about how eternal Pepe is. It's just <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I guess. Pepe's so stupid. Whatever. Yeah, that's that's really What's dumb. What's the best Pepe you've ever seen? We got we got plenty of time left in the I podcast. Don't, What's the Uh yeah, no, there's no best Pepe. What kind of question is that? He's just, <laughs> he's just a dumb fucking frog, man. One time I stupid. I made a Pepe. Did you? It had four sets of eyes. He <laughs> was like, like an alien. Okay. Was it like an ironic Pepe? Yeah. Okay. No. Oh. That's it was sad. when it was when Pepe was popular. With with teen girls, remember that era. That kind era of. of time? Uh, Can you tell that we've run out of things to talk about after <laughs> that list was gone? We haven't run out of. We could talk about other things. We could talk about different games and shit. Because because uh, we okay. <laughs> we could. I mean, we we talk about it all the time. So I mean, uh, well, what game did you think looked the best out of E three? Oh, um, I don't know. E three didn't excite me as much as a lot of other people. 
I don't think it excited uh, anyone. Really? It anything cool at E3 I, I felt like everyone was like, oh, man, look at this game. E3 is awesome. I mean, Nintendo was good. Nintendo was okay. Really? Yeah, there wasn't anything. I, I only look for like Legend of Zelda and Pokemon for an, from Nintendo. Really? I've, yeah, I'm that's always about excited it. for everything that Nintendo has to offer. Yeah, and and like I'm I am buying Splatoon too as soon as I can. Mm, I own it. Uh, and, I love it. Yeah, and I want to buy Arms too. So it's like, I, but I didn't even buy a Wii U, uh, and I barely played any games on my Wii. So, Jacob. yeah, my resol- that wallpaper is <laughs> bad resolution. Shit. I gotta delete that. <laughs> he has this fucking wallpaper that's this, this one piece, right? Yeah. But it's so unbelievably low resolution yeah. that it's intensely bit crushed. And I don't understand why I actually why that love happened. it. I think it's really funny. <laughs> uh, there's one wallpaper I have that I find hilarious. What is it? Um, you know what? No, I kind of want you to see it first. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Can't yawn on the podcast. Can, <laughs> is that a thing? You can't yawn on a podcast? It's de- dead Who space, dead shit? air. Who cares? Ah, uh, what's your favorite anime? We, <laughs> uh, One Piece is is my favorite anime of all time. That's it's, allowed. Oda, well, <laughs> allowed. <laughs> Oda allow is, is actually a really good writer, and uh, I, I love him a lot, and I love the One Piece story a lot. All right, so there we go, One Piece. We gave you the shout-out. Now you can get off the ground. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, after 800 manga chapters and, like, 600 episodes. No, it's, like, 800 episodes, too, now. Is it? Yeah, yeah that sounds right. <laughs> I think it's actually over 1,000 at this point. I don't think that's true. Because they don't have – One Piece notoriously does not have as much filler as other animes. Yeah. Animes, anime, uh, yeah. I'm sure there's a lot more filler than most anime because it's the nope. longest anime of all no. time. It does not have any. It doesn't have that much filler at all. It's got like fifteen percent filler. I've Shit, looked it up. Baby. Whereas Naruto has like forty percent filler. <laughs> okay, okay. The thing about Naruto that that caused all the filler was that the show had like two filler episodes, and then it, the original storyline ended, and there was a time jump in the manga. Yeah. But they gave it time to rest before they started adapting into the anime. Right. But so even, there's like a two three year. Even period. so, even after that, in Naruto Shippuden, they have. Uh, after every arc, they do a filler arc, and then they go from regular story arc to filler arc to regular story arc to filler arc. Cheapers. And it's it's so bad. That's obnoxious. It's actually. it's fucking terrible, and that's why Naruto. Like so, yeah, that that jump does not help. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. But after that, they're still pretty bad with the filler. <laughs> that sucks because the original series had basically no filler. Until yeah, yeah, until the end. It's it's pretty it's pretty oh, good about it. Oh, there's exactly 800 episodes of of One Piece. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds right. Yeah. Which, marathon? No, you can't. <laughs> Why? Uh I've done it I've like I got up to because you you could never finish it satisfyingly cuz I've 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 uh binged it up until the um what's it called? Oh, the they go into the they go into heaven basically. And they start fighting angels and shit. And it's awesome. It takes you 17 days straight, no breaks. Yeah, exactly. So, like, I got, like, a fourth of the way through. (laughs) And I had to stop. And I love One Piece. Because it's just, it's so long. It's awesome. If you can read it or watch it. But you have to pace yourself. No, just just marathon. No, you gotta pace yourself. (laughs) Oh, yeah. It's, it's, It's intense. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> oh, I was trying not to mention it. God damn it. My wallpaper is just an anime girl masturbating. Anime girl masturbating, <laughs> holding her boob. There's yeah. cum dripping down her mouth. I or is think that drool? I, it's just drool. It's fucking Don't disgusting. make it disgusting, Rob. Fuck you. <laughs> Oh god! Oh, uh, it's so funny. How are we gonna hold this for another ten minutes? <laughs> we're not. We're barely. We're, we're just. We're just gonna end it right here. Fucking it's, hell! <laughs> we can just end it. We don't. Uh, have, we don't have. Like I said, we don't have to pressure our, pressure ourselves to do an bullshit. hour. Bullshit. <laughs> okay, we're, we're subscribe probably just, if you want more cool shit like this. Yeah, with Robert freaking out about masturbation or whatever. <laughs> Fuck you. Bye. See you. Just kidding, we're leaving on a positive note, I love you!